Hello guys, welcome to Shadow Pen Test. Today I will show you how to safely access the dark web using Kali Linux. This video is for educational purpose only. I do not promote any illegal activities. The dark web is full of both legal, legal and illegal content. Be careful and protect your privacy. Before that, let me explain what is dark web. Dark web is a hidden part of the internet that cannot be accessed using normal browsers like Chrome or Firefox because it uses the .onion domain and this .onion domain requires Tor to access. So Tor is an onion router which can route your traffic to different 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 locations with multiple onion layers. Onion layers like when you cut an onion you will see the multiple layers right so let's keep that each layer as an encryption encryption uh, uh, traffic that can route throughout the internet and keep you anonymous there are let me talk about some use cases a legal use like uh, research assessing blocked content or privacy uh, forums and some uh, whitelist sites this one would not talk much about in, in legal uses because some of the secured government websites to pass information between two parties they also use this dark web apart of that there is a lot of illegal uses one is black market hacking forums data leaks hire it man buy any other stuff but i don't recommend you to buy anything do not buy or do not sell don't do not engage in any illegal activities this video is for your awareness just to know what is there in the deep, deep web assessing a dark web is not illegal doing illegal things is illegal so the websites that are present in dark web are completely decentralized and completely anonymous instead of they use a normal dns normal dns doesn't require for dark web as i said like an onion the Tor encrypts traffic in multiple layers. So let's jump into the tools that are required to access the dark web. The essential tools that we need is Tor browser and proxy chains. We need uh, if you want to install any Tail OS and uh, Cube OS, they are more secure. It can reach to the maximum security because Tail OS that will run only on a USB pen drive. Once you plug in, you get the access. Once you remove, no, no nobody can trace you there is no tax for you so i recommend using a tail os is optional if you want to be an advanced user you can use cubes os if you want maximum security so let's talk about how to install tor on kali linux first of all update your system to so update apt uh, updates and you can use update once you're done with it then let's install the Tor apt install Tor tech Y. Since uh, the application is already in, in my system, that's why it says Tor is already installed with the new version. So now let's check what is the version I have on my on my Kali Linux, which is 0.4.8.13 version. Okay, whenever you want to start a Tor, use the command system CTL to start Tor. After that, immediately check the status, either it is running or not. So it is completely running. The status is active. Also, before before you start, you can also use this command at the same time. Enable talk. And after you check the status, it's same. Anyhow, we can follow the same. Now we need to install the Tar browser for that apt install. But make sure you are not a root. To install this so you can exit from the root tor apt install tor browser launcher i think this is already in my system let me run tor browser iphone launcher so it will launch for you so we don't connect now unless we we check our proxy chains let me check the proxy chains for that one install the proxy chain application sudo apt install proxy chains tech y 
give the password for your root unable to work it out. I think it's already installed. Let me double check. Uh, what I do is let me uh, go to the config file and then show you what to edit there. We need, you need to uncomment uncomment the uh that let me show you I forgot the name it's a stick it's a sticky get it slash etc's proxy chains that country There's something i'm doing wrong proxy chains Get it is a tool like a notepad. You can edit any file from here. Okay, proxy chains. So here, what you need to do is update your soft for here with the same 127.0. Right? This is a loopback address along with the port 9050. After that, you go to uh, dynamic chain. Uh, yeah, strict change uncommented, and this one comment. So we don't use the dynamic change once you do these two things and then save it and after that go, go back to the command prompt and type and type it. so after that you can run proxy chain thought so let's go back to and connect to the okay now we are connected just type this is where you can uh, access the Onion links, hit enter key. This is more interesting part now. Well, the first link is the one which we can see 100 plus active dark web links. Guys, here some of the stuff can worry you and think about it long time. Do not worry, just ignore. This is just for um, for you to know what is the content and what are the websites that are included in the deep web. Uh, just for you to see how, what they are. So hidden search engines, there are some very good search engines. Uh, Ahmiya is a good one, one of one of the best search engines. Uh, DuckDuckGo, since we, we are also using the DuckDuckGo now, you can see such the DuckDuckGo. It is very secure and there is no trackers uh, for you to follow. And then uh, there are some store links. Let's see Thor shop, what they have. So guys, some of them are very illegal uh, market shops here. As I told you, you can see this is how the link looks like. It will always end with dot onion is not dot com. Guys, I'm sorry I don't want to show you this website. There's very bad bad stuff is displaying. Let me check another one. Okay, here you see wow. Uh, this is a black market. See PayPal transfer. If you pay $49, they can send you PayPal a five hundred dollars. Do not trust this all. Most of the deep web is, is for scam and phishing. Do not download any application here. If you see any download, either it is an uh, adware or anything, do not click at all this. Most of the deep web market places are used for to trick you, to scam you, and then and then let you download something so that they can uh, footprint your device and then attack. Uh, it's all for phishing purpose. And you see coding, money transfer, gift cards, they can sell for you for cheap rates. Don't fall under this trap, and you can see that people are also making money. And they will also give description. If you pay ninety nine dollars, you get two thousand dollars. So bill looks exactly the same. This all fake. Sold by you see, it's all fake. Who will pay you when you pay hundred dollars? Nobody can give you two thousand dollars, and uh, he cannot come to you and give you the notes. I mean the cash in hand to you. Because this all uh, they will say will print with the cotton papers and none of the scan machine none of the machines can scan it. So also let's see what they have more. Go to more links. Uh, Caribbean cards. I don't know what it is. Please don't show us any <laughs> bad things here. And then uh, well there are more. There are some email providers, uh, forums, social chat and the online onion hosting domains also you can these are the domain hosting websites where you can host your onion domains from the jobs we make you rich i don't know how 
without working hard you cannot become rich any person has to work until their hands get pain do not do not click any links here this all of them are for scam they can easily scam you so without making your hands dirty you cannot earn money this all for scam they can don't fall under their trap at all and also there are some vpns are available you can also try them some of them are good some of them bad but i never try uh, i was showing like which is still blowing this is for legal this all for legal is a news sometimes you will see a, a so and so website data data is leaked you can also go there and see what type of content most of the attackers use this news to grab the knowledge and what is happening just a just to have a more information and it's easy to attack anyone they can plan a fear a spear phishing attacks or phishing attack these are the most two complicated terminologies that you will be hearing in cyber security tricking you and scamming you is the first thing which comes into the fear phishing uh, and then phishing attacks uh, so you can see there are a lot these are all of the links the top 100 i think top act 200 so you can surf the dark web but do not click any other links or download don't don't watch any bad content here is all for scam don't don't get excited to see if you pay 90 dollars and you will get ten thousand dollars it's all fake none of them will pay you you need to make your hands dirty by yourself to earn money so that is all about today and uh, be safe protect yourself and be anonymous when you are when you want to go into the deep web and then uh, uh, such for things always use the tar browser and the tar net make sure you can also use tail OS and your usb pen drive and run it along with the uh, in, in the bootable driver anything you work it will stay into the usb pen drive it doesn't get into your system so your system footprintings are safe and also as i told you you can also change your mac address identity and also you can use the unknown surf all can give you extra layer of protection to protect you while visiting this kind of websites so be very careful everything can be trackable anything even now i'm not sure 100 percent i am safe because uh, nothing is perfect when it comes to uh, the deep web whatever the protection you use unless the tail wires or cube wires can give you in 100 percent top layer of security so and thank you for watching this video i will come with another new videos that can bring you awareness to protect from the hackers so be safe and just keep keep learning thank you for watching video bye bye